Good evening. Welcome to Visual Complain on Tuesday with me, Ian Wiley. Tonight, the church remembers the presentation of Christ in the temple, an ordinary event in the life of every Jewish male child, but one made extraordinary by the recognition in the hands of Simeon and the words of Anna that the child they saw before them was indeed the Son of God, the Messiah who had come to redeem the world. We mark this moment every time we say Compline in the words of the Nunc Dimittis, which we come to later. Come, let us say Compline together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful gods, we confess to ye, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And so we come to the psalm from the principal service for today, Psalm 24. The refrain is, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. The earth is the Lord's and all that filled it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Or who can rise up to his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart and have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, be lifted up, ye ancient doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty, in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. O Lord of hosts, purify our hearts that the King of glory may come in, your Son, Jesus, our Redeemer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a reading from the prophet Malachi fit for today, the presentation of Christ in the temple. I will send my messenger, who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord who you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant who you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? 
who can stand when he appears, for he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness, and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord as in the days gone by, as in the former years. So I will come to put you on trial. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, and perjurers, and against those who defraud the labourers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless, and who deprive the foreigners among you of justice. But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, Christ, the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Alleluia, Christ the light of the world, Alleluia, Alleluia, has manifested his glory, Alleluia. And so we come to prayers. Like Anna, who with Simeon knew you as an infant, may we be faithful in prayer and constant in worship and alert and discerning of all that you might be doing in the world around us. And in our prayers and action, let us remember the sisters and brothers who live around the world this world of your creating, whose life and livelihoods are under so much threat from the pandemic, from climate crisis, from global heating, and who have so many fewer resources to address those issues than we do here. May our hearts be reformed and may we turn them to justice and to righteousness in pursuit of your glory and worship. Amen. And the collect for today. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple in the substance of our flesh, Grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Visit this place. O Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing always be upon us, through Jesus Christ, 
our Lords. Amen. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the day is now past and the night is at hand. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit descend upon us and the blessing of God be with us. This night, and always. Amen. So Compline is concluded. Go in the peace of the Lord. <laughs>